already applied my gel polish and I used a nude color to look like skin. So now I'm going to go ahead and apply liquid latex around the nails that I'm doing the blood splatter on. Just make sure to apply that really well around the cuticle area. Now I'm going to be using the CND Bresolite Sculpting Gel. And this gel is perfect for 3D art, you guys. Um, it's in the color white. And this gel is perfect for building on layers when you do a 3D design. The good thing about using gel is that you can maneuver it as much as you want until you are satisfied with it. And then you cure it in the lamp to hold it in place. And I like to flash cure when I use 3D gel just so it'll hold and I can continue to add layers. And I only do it for a few seconds, maybe like 10 seconds, no more. So now I'm gonna go ahead and trace over the first layer and I'm gonna be adding peaks. I don't know if you can tell that method I'm using with my brush. It's just to make it look more real like the skin is actually being torn. And we're just gonna flash cure that as well. And then you're gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the rest of the design. Remember when doing this design, it's important to get those little peaks because that's what's gonna make your design look like an actual open wound. For the blood, I actually mixed a black and a dark red gel polish and that's what I'm gonna be using. And when you add it to the center, it looks really dark, which makes it look like an actual wound, like blood. Just make sure to apply it kind of heavy inside of the wounds because that's what's going to make it look more real. And now we're just going to go ahead and paint over the white part. And you can see what I meant with the peaks. It makes it look real, like if the skin was being torn. Now we're just going to add red lightly around the wounds to give it a more realistic effect. Just be careful, try not to grab a huge lump of gel. Try to like wipe your brush off on a napkin, that way you won't make it look so dark. And just cure that. Now moving on to the blood splatter nails, I'll be using a straw. And you just want to get the gel inside of the straw, not on the outside. And just lightly blow on it to give that splattered effect. Try not to spit into the straw, guys. Because you don't want that on your client's nails. And it is very messy, you guys. So be careful. Just go ahead and cure that. And moving on to the next nail, if you can tell... I'm holding the nail down, that way I won't get any splatters on the other nails. And if you get a big chunk of gel like this, just grab a brush and take some of it out. That way it won't look lumpy when you apply your top coat. And just cure that. And you can keep adding more splatter to it until you're satisfied with the results. And just cure that again. So just be careful. And now moving on to the next nail, we're doing the blood drip, or as most of you know, the Kylie Jenner paint drip effect. And for this nail, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. We're gonna be doing a matte and a shiny effect on it. The nude areas will be matte, and the blood drips are gonna be shiny. And you'll see how I do that in just a moment. But when you're using gel, please tell your clients to be very careful because as you can tell, my client got some lint on her nail. And it's really hard to take off lint off of gel polish. So just make sure you're careful. And this is the easiest and best way I know how to do the paint drip design. Since I'm using gel polish, I like to do layers because gel polish disperses. If you try to do the whole design at once, it might start to like feather out. Just make sure that you're constantly curing the design before you actually finish the whole thing. 
and just try to make it as neat as possible and add more red to the areas that look a little lighter that's why it's good to layer it on after each cure now just go ahead and remove the latex from around the nails because we're going to go ahead and do our top coat next I'm going to be using this gelish matte top coat for the nude part like I had said and then we're going to use the clear one, the shiny one, on the blood. So I just grab a little nail art brush and start floating it onto the nude areas. And since it's gel, it's really easy to apply. It's not going to get clumpy or dry or anything. So as long as you're just applying it to the areas where you need it, it's going to look perfect. And just cure the matte before you start applying the clear. And now we're going to apply the clear to the blood areas because naturally blood is shiny. So I thought it'd be adequate for this set. And just cure that and we're going to apply our top coat to the rest of the nails. And that's pretty much it you guys. Just cure the top coat for about a minute and a half to two minutes and then clean off with alcohol. Hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe share my video if you liked it give it a thumbs up you guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys next time bye Maybe you should scoop it. it. Yeah. Scoop it. And I just need it to fill in that one little spot. This is the weirdest set of nails. You're going to have to make bloopers for this one. <laughs>